The official dismantling of Syria's stockpile of chemical weapons began in October 2013, the result of painstaking negotiations. Under the supervision of the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, a UN body, the destruction of sarin and mustard gas began. The then US President Barack Obama made his opinion on chemical weapons clear. A red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. Uh, that would change my calculus. That would change my equation. In August 2013, opposition-controlled Huta was hit by sarin rockets. Many hundreds died. The U.S. Senate filed a resolution to authorize the use of force against the Syrian military. Assad warned against it. It's going to get worse with any foolish strike or stupid war. What do you mean worse? Worse because of the repercussions, because nobody can tell what the repercussion of the first strike, or you're talking about one region, bigger region, it's not only about Syria, it's interlinked air region. As many as 192 states have ratified or acceded to the Chemical Weapons Convention. Israel has signed but not ratified the treaty. Egypt, North Korea and South Sudan have neither signed nor acceded to the convention. There are penalties for non-compliance. The OPCW may recommend collective punitive measures. In cases of particular gravity, the OPCW can bring the issue before the UN Security Council and General Assembly. However, the Security Council is stymied if one of its members plays the veto card. Last February, a Security Council vote against the use of chemical weapons by Damascus was vetoed by Moscow and Beijing. Human Rights Watch say the Syrian government bombarded Aleppo eight times with chlorine gas between November the 18th and December the 9th last year. Assad's government denies ever using chemical weapons.